here for the ASU. You didn't have to. I wanted to. It's not often I come across someone like you. Look, just to be clear, that kiss, it shouldn't have happened. Oh. Look, it's not that I don't like you. I mean, I, I do. It's just I'm I'm not gay. Right. Like, I've, I mean, I've tried it, but um, it's just I'm not. It's, it's... I get it. All good. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, my bad. I've got a history of this. Backing up the wrong tree. Oh my god, me too. I mean, I had on my gay best friend. <laughs> Look, it's not that you're not great or that I'm not attracted to you. Like, you're smart and funny and beautiful. It's just that you're not technically gay. Right. And I mean, like I said, I've tried it before in the past, but it just didn't work out. But then again, it hasn't worked out with any of the guys I've been with either, so maybe I'm not anything. <laughs> you're asexual. What's the opposite of that? Pan, poly, fluid, gray, omni, sapio, spectra. Confused? Yeah. Aren't we all? Look, I think you're great. And no pressure. But if you ever want to try being confused with me, give me a call. Hi, have you seen Desi? I put her afternoon tea here. She's not on the front desk or answering her phone. Wow. Louie was right. You are a doormat. She's had a very traumatic day. Thank you very much. Well, who hasn't? Why what's happened to you? Apart from having flowers thrust upon you by not-so-sacred admirers. Okay, what? easy for you to say. You know what you want. Me, on the other hand. Look, if you want to Melza, just go for it. Oh, it's not that simple. Besides, this whole thing wasn't even meant to be about me. It was meant to be about Louie and... Love and getting his mojo back. I'm not sure he wants it back. He is a 20-something-year-old male. Of course he wants it back. Now, come on, there must be some eligible bachelorettes in Condor. No. Okay, fine. Some of them are a little bit unique, but at least one of them must be dateable. There are lots of dateable people in Condor, actually. Thank you for your information. I meant no on Midley and Louis' love life again. He was very clear. Oh, come on, Damo. Look, I've got to get this to Desi before he blood sugar plummets. What are you? Are you a man or a doormat? Oh. Clear. You didn't have to do this. Okay, it's the least I can do. <laughs> so, um, how'd things go with Demelza? Did you let her down gently? Sort of. Hmm. Sort of. Do you like her? Like? Like her, like her? No. Maybe. I don't know. Huh. You know, I can't even really trust what I think at the moment. It feels like I would kiss anyone that came my way. You would, wouldn't you? You'd kiss anyone! Oh, <laughs> Maybe I haven't funny. lost my mojo after all, eh? <clears throat> Louis, Sarah, Sarah, Louis. Hello. Uh, hi. Yeah, Sarah's a microbiologist during the day, Queen of Sandcastles at night, and I've checked straight. So far, right, Sarah? <laughs> right. Excellent. All right, please sit, talk, connect. Hang on, so this was all a, a setup? Yeah. Well, you can thank us later, all right? Come on, Dawn, let's leave these two to get to know each other. I'll leave you to it. You know what? I don't think he actually needs our help after all. And Dawn, for the record, I'd just like to say that I like being Desi's doormat. 